today we're talking about floorboards, the carbon fiber kind. purposes for doing custom floorboards over the factory ones. So we wanted to not add any weight and possibly save some weight if we could. We wanted to add rigidity so that we could put heavy items in there without denting and crinkling up floorboards. And the third was that we wanted to contain some dirt. So I think we did all three of those. Let's get into it. So here's the basic layout of the floor. Um, as you can see we got a big section for the rear half. That section goes underneath the right hand seat, the left hand's already in the airplane, and these go underneath the pilot's feet. Um, so the other thing I wanted to do was this lip right here. So as you can see, if you look down this, we've got a 90 degree angle there on the edge of this floorboard. Um, so what that 90 degree angle allows us to do is actually put the rudder cables underneath the floor um, so that they're not getting smashed by different things. It just keeps the control cables out of the uh, out of the compartment where people are stepping on them, getting nasty, all the above. So normally you wouldn't be able to do that because floorboards typically go all the way to this wall uh, right here. And so even on, on this side, you can see it normally there's tabs all along here that the floorboard actually sits on. Um, that's required because those floorboards are normally really flimsy. Um, but by adding that 90 degree bend in the edge of the floorboard, um, it actually makes them more rigid than the ones that go all the way to the wall and it covers up the uh, rudder cables quite nicely. So the uh, strength to weight ratio on carbon fiber is impressive. You throw a little bit of honeycomb in the mix and it gets really impressive. So that's, uh, that floorboard's an eighth inch thick and it's able to hold me up just standing in the middle of it. Um, so these are a whole lot stronger than the factory units. Um, where this is, I mean, you're just 032 sheet metal. Um, and so there's, you know, there's no way you can get away with that on these. Um, so for our applications of this airplane, we'll be carrying a lot of cargo and stuff like that. We'll, at some point, we'll have a motorcycle on the back of it. Like there'll be a bunch of stuff in it. So uh, we need some strong floorboard. So what this is, is a honeycomb layup. Let me see if I can kind of show what the structure there looks like. So we've got eighth inch honeycomb in the center, four layers of carbon on the back side, and then the front side, has three layers of carbon and a layer of Kevlar sandwich into it. So the purpose on that is one, to give it a little bit of puncture resistance, but two, in the event of a crash, um, instead of floorboards splintering and coming apart, they'll stay together and kind of just crumple up because the Kevlar hold, will hold all the structure together. So on the weight side of things, our goal is to not add any weight, but we've actually saved some weight. So as you can see, uh, these, car, these floorboards running through the back and into the front. I'll show some weights here, and the weights are for these sections right here uh, that are going to be showing up on the scale. And so those floorboards um, actually have saved a large amount of weight, um, about three to three and a half ounces of floorboard right there. So if you calculate that out through the whole floor, I think we save somewhere in the neighborhood of five pounds versus just bare aluminum floorboards. So the front floorboards are three pieces uh, that bolt down one semi-permanent so that you don't have to pull the control sticks to get that floorboard up. And then the uh, other ones come out fairly easily. So right here, you can see we have one removable section that runs all the way across. And uh, then we have this section that comes in ties on over the lip so that you don't get any dirt through it. And then this third section right here lays down flat right in there. So once this is all together, there'll be a little aluminum trim strip that runs right there. And uh, that finishes up the front. So if you've ever worked on an airplane that people use on sandbars out in the back country where they're getting in with nasty, muddy, sandy, dirty feet, you know that there is dirt all the way through the belly of the airplane. It gets in, especially on fabric airplanes, it gets in and starts eating into the fabric, makes mud and just gets nasty onto the floor. So one of our goals was to contain the dirt on this. So as you can see, all the way around we've got this lip um, that's not letting any of the dirt go down the sides of the airplane like that. And there'll be a rubber seal here once they're finished. And then on the front, we wanted to really contain this dirt up front. So all your sand's gonna come here. There'll be a little aluminum trim strip. And then all the way around this, there's a little edge, probably about a half inch tall, and all the way even back underneath the control sticks, even into here, 
Um, there's a little lip that catches all the dirt. So when you get in with dirty feet and you hit the rudder pedals and all the dirt comes off, it'll all get caught up there and it won't, you won't hear it rattle all the way down through the belly into the bot tail of the airplane. So that's one benefit. And then back here, we'll have a little lip. I haven't added yet. I gotta finish up some bulkhead stuff right here. And then we'll add a little lip to the back of that. So you should be able to, when you get done flying, the airplane will be sitting in three point like that. All the dirt should relatively go to the back. Should be able to just vacuum it out. And you should not have to pull the floorboards, dig through the belly, wash it out, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so over here underneath the pilot seat, you can see we built a little carbon fiber box. It's got four Limo plugs and two USB ports. And then right there will be two oxygen ports. And then you've got your, uh, your roll servo and then pitch servo right here. And uh, then these are the stick controls and they're removable so you can pull the sticks without cutting any wiring. All right, so that's the floorboards. If you guys have any more questions, let me know, drop them below, I'll try and answer them. Uh, we're gonna go over some more parts of the airplane in a few future videos. If there's something specific you guys wanna see, let me know, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.